viewers, welcome to another edition of the Open Heavens Things devotional. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for bringing us into the new month. Father, Lord, as we start, please teach us the word, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, Wednesday, September 8th, our topic is a good name. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1, and it says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Our Bible text is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1 to 3, and it says, Dead flies purify the perfume's ointment, and causes it to give off a flower odor. So does a little folly to one respected for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Even when a fool walks along the way, he lacks wisdom and shows everyone that he is a fool. And now the message. Two biblical names many people don't want to bear are Cain and Judas Iscariot, just because of their foolish acts of murder and greed. A teenager's efforts, denials and sacrifices get towards maintaining a good name or family reputation are worth more than millions of nairas. Some children receive favors because of their family name. For instance, if you are one of the same tribe or bear the same surname of a popular and influential person, when you introduce yourself to people who know the person, they will naturally give you a friendly reception, even if they later find out that you are not related to that good public figure. On the other hand, people would be hostile to you at the first introduction, even if you are from a wealthy family that lacks a good name. A good name is to be preferred over anything. It can open doors unto you, even in places you least expected. It attracts blessings while a bad name attracts curses. Which do you prefer? One foolish act that can destroy all you and your family have been building for years. Therefore, be mindful of your actions, especially in public. So friends, let's have a passage. Our topic for today is a good name. What is a name? A name is used to identify or define someone. In the Bible, there are two names people don't want to bear, Cain and Judas Iscariot, because of the things that they did in the Bible. Cain killed his own brother, and Judas was selfish and betrayed Jesus and even committed suicide. Because of the actions both of them took, Nobody wants to name their child that because they do not want such things to happen. That shows how important names are. An example is Nigeria's name, Adeboye. If you were named Adeboye and you went anywhere and people knew that your name was Adeboye, from knowing the things that Jew has done, they will treat you so well. They will welcome you very well. They will answer to any of your requests. Above all, they will treat you very well because because of the name you carry. But if you come in with a bad name, whenever you do something good, they will say, ah, so 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 person from this family did something so well, and they will continue to praise your family for that, for training you in such a way, and they will know your family for doing those such things. But anytime you do something bad, they will know your family for that, and they will say, ah, this person was always do such things like this, that we would do such a thing. Our names define who we are. Before we take any actions, we have to think about it. How is it going to affect me? Is it going to affect me positively or negatively? And it will not only affect you, it also affects your family because you all carry the same name. If you do something good, it could be for the better of your family. But if you do something bad, Everything that you have been trying to build in your family could go down in an instant because of a single wrong action. A good name attracts blessings while a bad name attracts costs. So from today, before you take any action, think of the name and reputation of your family that you are trying to protect. Key point, a good name will bring value to you and your family from generation to generation. Our Bible word for today is taken from Proverbs chapter 13 to chapter 14 and 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Thank you and God bless you.
please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this youtube channel